I'm meta and I don't know what's the concept of pacing the releases. Seriously dude, like I'm having flashbacks to the 7 day release 2 years ago. One day there's nothing and the other is just too much, like it's not getting better over time, like meta is just meta at this point. Anyhow, I didn't know that World of Max will be out today. I really doubt that it's gonna be better than Vox since I've seen maybe couple screenshots and stuff like that. It's like a multiplayer focused mech game with really high number of robots just on one battlefield. It kinda seemed to me like an app lab project though you can tell that about many things on the official store hello and welcome to the battle mech federation simulated training room i am your artificial pilot recon intelligence liaison but you can call me april april before you go out and get blasted to smithereens <laughs> let's make sure your mech is fully calibrated are you ready to begin <laughs> I honestly should be sitting down in those type of gameplay, but I wasn't really prepared for that, so we'll see. Okay, your mech is up and running. Use left stick to move your mech and right stick to rotate your cabin. Try moving to the zone indicated on your radar. Now click and hold left stick while moving forward to sprint to the next zone. Good. You can aim your weapons by turning your head. The reticle is linked to the direction you're looking. I don't like that this... Use left trigger to fire your primary weapon and right trigger to fire your secondary weapon. You can manually reload with Y. Practice firing on this spot mech highlighted for your radar. Well done. Now reach the zone on this ledge. Press and hold A to use your jump jets. Heavier mechs will not be able to sustain their jump jets for as long as you can. Mechs also have utilities to aid them in combat. You are currently piloting a trooper mech, which has a stomp utility. Press X to stomp and damage nearby enemies. This can only be used intermittently. <laughs> Some mechs will have a strafe utility instead. I will simulate a striker mech for testing purposes. Mech systems online. There's so much going on. You are now piloting a striker mech. To use its strife utility, press X or either of the grips. This maneuver will help you dodge incoming fire or surprise an enemy around a corner. Notice the two bars above the training bot. The top and bottom bar represent their shield and hull points respectively. You will see your own mech's hull and shield points on the windshield. To damage a mech's hull, you must first deplete their shield. Shield points will automatically start to regenerate after momentarily avoiding fire. Hull points can only be regenerated through medic's special ability or a pickup. There are three weapon types, energy, ballistic, and explosive. Each can be identified by the icon on your weapon screens. Energy weapons are particularly effective against shield, while ballistic weapons fare better against hull. Explosive weapons do equal damage to both. Notice you cannot fire the Stricker mech's primary weapon without a targeted enemy. Mm. All explosive weapons will require a target to lock on. Try targeting and firing the screening bot. Yeah, I kinda get it. For just fast thing. I don't like that the UI is like just moving with me, especially like the text. I can't really focus reading it. It's very much arcadey, but like in a good way. Vox is more like a simulator, a proper one. This is just purely optimized for combat scenarios. Very much like front mission, honestly. It's a bit simpler, but I don't mind it. We can jump. Can we progress? Good. Each mech class has a unique special ability that will charge over time. 
You can use the ability once the meter is filled. Fire Storm ability, powered and ready to deploy. Huh. Well done. Battle to earn XP and currency so you can purchase more mechs and try out all of the unique special abilities. Oh. Welcome to your very own Battle Mech Federation hangar. Here you can prepare your mechs before entering combat. Use the inventory to purchase mechs and customize them with component upgrades. Whenever you are ready, you can join an online server, practice against bots, or start your campaign journey. Happy battling! Thank you! So far so good! For some reason the frame skip, but it's kind of heavy in performance, I can tell now. There's also a campaign which I didn't expect it to be. I see 7 mechs each with different loadouts. Yeah, it's not only the color changes, it's just everything. <laughs> Let's do a quick match now and maybe if we'll have time, that first chapter. Mech systems initialized. Two minutes remaining. Assault. Capture the enemy's objective zone. Those are bots. Who's an enemy here? Okay. Is this like capture the flag? That's not mine for sure. I don't know what I'm pressing. Oh, that's a mine. <laughs> Okay, well that was fast, but I know the concept, we were just playing with people and shoot each other or capture the flag, standard stuff. Do I have to say, the graphics look absolutely garbage. It's like the developers just focus on the mechs and the whole combat, but completely forgot about the environments. I mean, it shouldn't be like the focus, but it would be just nice to be in nice place. Hello there, pilot. I'm Yasmin, and I will be your point of contact for the Battle Mech Federation. Looks like you're on the way to the arena. Finally. I hope you're excited for today's match. We were so glad you were available on such short notice. As you obviously heard, the one and only Brayden Kane was injured in his last battle. Truly a terrible tragedy for the League. Fortunately for you, the team's co-captain, Laru, referred you and here we are, with a fresh recruit subbing in for one of our biggest teams. Shortage of pilots, I suppose. Laru will be waiting for you at the arena. Please try not to disappoint us. Talk soon. You think you're clever, don't you? Capture and hold objectives to argue points over time. We just have one mech. <laughs> mech systems in line. Well, aren't you a sight for sore senses? Welcome to the pros, kid. I've been watching you throughout the academy, and you've become quite the pilot. Now let's see how you have. I think I can, yeah, see, disable the sway. Handle the big leagues. You know the drill. Capture and hold objective zones to earn points. The team with more points at the end of the round comes out on top. Let's do it. It's less immersive, but less distracting as well. Well, I'm shit. There you go, kid. See you. Let's control the point, so I don't really need to move. 
But that will be boring. No, <laughs> I can't look down. Surprise, <laughs> bitch. Oh, that one's fast. Objective Zambia has been captured. Oh, replenished. Yeah, some are bigger, some are smaller. Come on! <laughs> Proximity mine ability powered and ready to deploy. Let's see. Thanks. <laughs> oh man, they've been lighting me up. I don't know if I'll be able to go on. Get all you got, kid. Something's going on with the aiming and turning at the same time. It's not really comfortable. We did it. They might have put me out of commission for a bit, but hey, at least we won. Comedian. All right, I'll see what's going on. It's a multiplayer based arcade mech game. There's not much depth going on. You have a large selection of maps, mechs, weaponry, everything all together. I don't see the compelling part of it. Of course, the direct comparison now is with Vox Machina and there you were engaged into the game, the storyline, the gameplay. Here's just some fun times shooting robots and it really feels like a mobile game for Quest. I don't think I'm even interested in doing like the campaign. Seems a bit shallow. There's 20 chapters. Overall it's kind of fun but I don't really see it for me. Maybe I'm just broken by Vox and I can't get anything else better than that. I would summarize it as a mech MOBA. That makes the most sense here so yeah second mech game for the quest store.